A Dallas County woman says she almost fell for a jury duty scam. She got a call from somebody claiming to be a Dallas County Sheriff's deputy saying she needed to settle a legal matter related to jury duty. She figured it out fast, but it doesn't happen like that for everybody. Amelia Jones has the warning from the Sheriff's Office tonight. Amelia. Yeah, Steve, Heather, for most law-abiding citizens, getting a call that there's potentially a warrant out for your arrest because you missed jury duty can sound very serious. A voicemail left for one Dallas woman was so believable that she called the number back only to find out it was a scam. Hello, this is I'm a deputy down at the Dallas County Sheriff's Department, ma'am. I have a legal matter that's regarding you. It is urgent. When Lisa Cobb heard this message, she believed it. Okay, well, I better call back because I did miss jury duty. She called the alleged deputy back. And when I, he started talking to me, he did sound like he was very calm, he was very collected, and he was very polite, he was very respectful. As the conversation progressed, Cobb got a feeling she wasn't actually talking to a deputy. And I said, sir, I'm, I'm not going to continue unless you give me your badge number. When he finally gave one, she hung up and called the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. The woman answered, she goes, no, that's a scam. You know, it's been going around. And I said, well, I thought so. Cobb learned the caller used the name of someone who actually used to work for the sheriff's office. Doug Sisk with the Dallas County Sheriff's Office says he sees the scam two to three times a week. Sometimes the name is a current member on the force or a former employee. Regardless, Sisk made one thing very clear. Nobody from the Dallas County Sheriff's Department's ever going to call you and request money over the phone because you missed jury duty. The Sheriff's Office also won't call to request money for outstanding warrants or request payments in the form of gift cards, Zelle, or Venmo. If you do get these calls, just hang up on them, or if you want to, tell them, come arrest me. I mean, nobody's going to come out and arrest you. Sisk says any communication between the court and a potential juror will go through the U.S. mail. And if there is a legal matter, an investigator would show up in person. Cobb feels lucky she caught on to the scam in time, but she wants others to be aware in case they do fall victim. These people are getting better and better, and it's not so obvious. Sadly, you have to be suspicious of every everything these days. Information on who is summoned for jury duty is not available to the public, so it really is just a coincidence that Lisa Cobb had just missed jury duty before she received that call. Sis says that this isn't just going around in Dallas County, but really all over, and the best tip he can give is that if you believe it's a scam, hang up and call the jury services line directly to confirm the information. Steve, Heather, back to you.